This is a real quick video for those of you who've had trouble accessing, or for those of you who have recorded video and you're saying to me, so, hey, Mr. Parker, my video is coming out black. I can't see the video. There's a couple quick changes you need to make uh, to the screen to make that happen. So this is what you'll do. Go ahead and access the PC section of your browser. And you know how to do that. Swiping up from the middle and getting to PC. And once you've added PC, go ahead and swipe up, add your password if necessary, if you're not already in. No peeking. So what happens is there's one setting in the Newit Snowflake software that you have to enable. So we're gonna to go to our Windows menu we're going to go to Newit EQ Snowflake. And here to the Snowflake Configurator, that's where we want to be. And when that screen comes up or when that dialog comes up, there's one setting that you have to enable in order to make this happen. Waiting for the Configurator. Newit, once again here to Newit. Snowflake to the configurator and waiting for the configurator. So here on the configurator, you can't see it very well, so I'm gonna move you a little bit closer. From there, under the miscellaneous settings, you want to enable the readback buffer. That's the magic you want to enable to make that happen. When you click a check in there, Every video that you'll make after that should be able to play back separately. So once again, you're going to the new software. Here to the software. You're looking for Snowflake Configurator. And then from the Snowflake Configurator, the miscellaneous, the miscellaneous menu, you're going to enable that and you want to enable or to click in the readback buffer. Once you're done with that, exit the screen, you should be good to go. Thank you so much.